We are Chesler Shoe Crew. And we're kicking it off this week in some rock and roamers from SAS. Great colors, great style, nice and cool for the summer. And loving the color, the Santalina, nice pewter metallic color in there. Go with everything. So this is our shoe of the week. This is the SAS or SAS Roamer in the Santalina color, which is a great sort of neutral pewter look to it. It's gonna take on the sort of the tone of what you're wearing it with. This is, has the tripod comfort system on the inside as well. So it gives you cushioning at the heel and across both pressure points of the ball of the foot removable footbed so that you can put an orthotic in there if need be velcro for ease of on and off some nice cutouts in the front to help keep you cool in the summer it's going to be great for a, a an office shoe as well or just casual walking around shoe we've got a nice little sandal here coming out it's got both the front strap and the back strap Sportier looking sandal, which is uh, kind of nice to see from them. Now, what kind of sole we got on there? We got the Goga Max on there, so really cushiony. That squishy, she's squishing because she knows what to do. Put it on there and squish it under my feet a bit too. So that's giving nice good support with it having that good ankle strap to hold it on there and still have in the front. The walking there, so the cushioning underneath is just great. Yeah, that looks nice. I like it. You know, it looked, I noticed when, uh, I need to see it off. It looks like it's got, oh it does, it's got some like little bumps on there too. So those are probably strategically placed to help massage some of the pressure points of your foot. But they're they're still quite squishy as well, so that's neat. I like that. So this is a little bit sportier sandal from Skechers. This one is Radiance. So you got the nice cushion sole on there. Lots of straps on the top to hold your foot in, nice and secure. Velcro around the ankle to make sure that you're going to have a good fit on there, and it's not going to be slipping and sliding all over the place. Nice cushion on the insole on that one. Now what is the, the one on that one? That's that Gogo Max again. Very nice. So you should be able to walk a few miles in those. Oh, in comfort and style. Your toes oh, yeah, that one's one's nice. Nice. Yeah. You're a little dressier with a higher wedge on it. Now this is the Luxe Bowl. I have not tried this get Luxe Bowl out yet, but we're going to see just how luxurious it is. Now this got here a little wide on my foot to it. Wow, that cushion under there is just sort of like, like Actually, the footbed on that is kind of a molded footbed, so it looks like it's going to give you some decent support in there for a, for a thong style. Wedge heel, a little bit of bling on there as well. This is the Skechers toe thong called Dazzled, because look at all that sparkle on there. It's dazzling. So this is the cork footbed, cork look footbed and it's molded too for you've got a little bit of arch support in there and we've got the Lux Lux what's it Lux foam cushioning so that should be really really nice and comfy some cutouts on there that would be great with sundresses capris shorts very very versatile yeah. shoe so you're, you're just going to have to come in and see all the new stuff for yourselves and try it on just like Jolene's trying all this stuff on. Well, exactly. That's why I grabbed out this one here because I wanted to give it a try there. Because you want to add it to your wardrobe, don't yeah. you? They have some great wedges from Skechers that got the memory foam in there so you get really good comfort <laughs> yet you still get a nice dressy look there. Yeah. Um, the nice thing about a wedge is it offers you a little bit more stability than a straight heel. So when you are walking, especially in the summer, you want to do a lot of walk and see things and be comfortable but still look dressy. Skechers has give us a nice option here with the multi crisscross straps that look nice and feminine. That bit of bling on there just jazzes it up a bit for you, but it's not too bad. So you could still wear that really casual as well as dressy. Exactly. Now, if white isn't your color, we do have a pewter and a black as well in there. So nice different options with it. 
Nice choice. Like it. And this one from Skechers is called Wild Child. It must be because of that sparkle that's on there. You got some braided strap, you got some rhinestone strap, nice white upper on there with a black wedge sole. Memory foam on that one for cushioning as well. Lots of memory foam in the Skechers because it does give really nice cushion on there for when you're walking. This is going to be great for dressing up and yet you can wear it dressed down as well. Wear it with capris, shorts, sundresses. Probably could wear it with an even a little bit more dressier looking dress as well. Exactly. If you are doing any traveling, like going on a cruise, if you, don't, you can't take that many pairs of shoes. So this gives you the option to give you a good comfortable shoe for walking, sightseeing, but at night when you're dressing up for dinners or things like that, good everything option for that. Exactly. Saves room in the suitcase for, for bringing home more stuff. Exactly. I like it. <laughs> it's our sure false question. Okay, so if you remember from last week. Rob, was I right? Was I wrong? Unfortunately, the answer was false. Oh. Your feet don't stink because you have 250,000 sweat glands. They stink because your shoes and stop socks trap the bacteria in. So yes, you do have those sweat glands and they are producing the sweat. It's because your shoes and socks are trapping it in. When you use leather and natural fibers, like a lot of our shoes are in your shoes, they're top picks for breathability. Well, I was half right though, because you do perspire to stay cool. Yes. I just, yeah, it was a trick question, I think. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> all right, let's see how stupid I am now, and I'll see if I can get one right now. Okay, so on to this one. Toenails yeah. grow much slower than fingernails. They grow five yeah. millimeters a month, and it will take approximately one year to grow a whole new toenail. Well, I think on this one, I am going to say that it is false. I think it actually takes less time to grow a whole new toenail. Um, I do think they probably grow slower than fingernails, but I still think that it's going to take maybe half the time for a new toenail to grow back. You have to check back next week to find out if you're right. Remember to answer in the comment section. This week, if you are the winner and have the right answer, I've got a couple of foot butters here. Sandal season is yeah, it's coming. not so you can eat your feet. <laughs> yeah. It's to keep them nice and soft. Exactly. If you've got any dry heels coming on, this is wonders. Will work wonders on those for you. Just slather some on there. Feels great after. And it smells really nice too, which is good because then your stinky feet that we were just talking about aren't going to be a problem. Perfect. So <laughs> get your answers in now. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe and tune in again. Hopefully next week we'll have a whole new video for you. Thank Bye. You. Bye.